Welcome to this tutorial on Conic Sections Parabola. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use GeoGebra to study standard equations and parts of a parabola. Construct parabolas. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 14.04, GeoGebra 5.0.388.0-D. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of GeoGebra interface, conic sections in geometry. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Parabola A parabola is the locus of points equidistant from the fixed point called the focus. The points on the parabola are also equidistant from the fixed line called the directrix. Observe the different features of the parabola in the image. The axis of symmetry is perpendicular to the directrix and passes through the focus and vertex. Lattice rectum passes through the focus and is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. Let us construct a parabola in GeoGebra. I have already opened GeoGebra interface. Click on Point Tool and click in Graphics View. This creates Point A. Right click on Point A and select the Rename option. In the New Name text box, type Focus instead of A and click OK. This renames point A as focus. Click on line tool and click on two places in graphics view below focus. This creates line AB. Right click on line AB and choose the rename option. In the new name field, type directrix and click OK. This renames line AB as the directrix. Click on Perpendicular Line Tool, then click on Line AB. Drag the cursor until the resulting line passes through Focus and click on Focus. This draws a line perpendicular to line AB passing through Focus. This line is the axis of symmetry. Right click on this line perpendicular to line AB. Choose the rename option. Type axis of symmetry in new name field. Click OK. Under ellipse tool, click on parabola tool. Then click on focus and the directrix. This creates a parabola with its focus at focus and with line AB as the directrix. Under point tool, click on intersect tool. Click on the parabola and axis of symmetry. This creates point C at the intersection. It is the vertex of the parabola. Right click on point C and choose the rename option. In the new name field, type vertex and click OK. Click on perpendicular line tool and click on the axis of symmetry. Drag the cursor until the line passes through the focus and click on it. This results in a line parallel to the directrix passing through the focus. Under Point Tool, click on Intersect Tool. Click on the parabola and the newly drawn line through focus. This creates points C and D. Under Line Tool, click on Segment Tool and click on points C and D. Resulting segment CD is the lattice rectum. Right click 
on Segment CD and choose the Rename option. In the New Name field, type Lattice Rectum and click OK. Move the Lattice label so you can see it properly. Click and drag Graphics View to see the parabola properly. In Algebra View, you can see the equation describing the parabola. Drag Boundary so you can see the equation properly. Also, you can see the equations for the axis of symmetry, directrix and lattice rectum. Drag Boundary so you can see Graphics View properly again. Click in Graphics View and drag Background. Under Point Tool, click on Intersect Tool. Click on Axis of Symmetry and Directrix. This creates Point E. Under Angle Tool, click on Distance or Length Tool. Click on Focus and Vertex. Note the distance of Focus Vertex appearing in Graphics View. Click on Vertex and Point E. Note the distance of Vertex E appearing in Graphics View. Both these distances are equal. Let us look at the general equations of parabolas. I have opened a new GeoGebra window. In Input Bar, type X minus A in parenthesis caret 2 equals 4 space P space Y minus B in parenthesis. To type caret symbol, hold shift key down and press 6. Note that the spaces denote multiplication. Press enter. Create sliders window pops up asking if you want to create sliders for A, B and P. Click on Create Sliders. Sliders are created for A, P and B. The default setting for all three coefficients is 1. A parabola opening upwards appears in graphics view. A, B correspond to the coordinates of the vertex. Double click on the parabola. Click on Object Properties and then on Color tab. Select Red and close the Preferences box. The parabola and its equation appear red in the Graphics and Algebra views. Move Boundary so you can see the equation properly. Right click on Slider A and check Animation On option. Note the effects on the horizontal movement of the red parabola. Right click on Slider A and uncheck Animation On option. Right click on Slider P and check Animation On option. Note the effects on the shape and orientation of the parabola. Right click on Slider P and uncheck Animation On option. Right click on Slider B and check Animation On option. Note the effects on the vertical movement of the parabola. Right click on Slider B and uncheck Animation On option. Note that when A, P and B are equal to 1, the red parabola C is described by equation C. Click on Parabola C in Graphics View and note highlighting of Equation C in Algebra View. Equation C is given by x squared minus 2x minus 4y equals minus 5. In Input Bar, type Focus C in parenthesis, press Enter. Focus is drawn at point A in Graphics View. The coordinates of focus of parabola C, which is point A, appear in Algebra View. In Input Bar, type Vertex C in parenthesis, press Enter. 
vertex is drawn at point B in graphics view. The coordinates of vertex of parabola C, which is point B, appear in algebra view. In input bar, type directrix C in parenthesis, press enter. Directrix appears as a line along x-axis in graphics view. The equation for the directrix of parabola C, y equals 0, appears in algebra view. Double-click on directrix in graphics view. In the redefined text box, click on object properties, then the color tab. In the left panel, note that the directrix is highlighted. Identify focus and vertex created for parabola C. While pressing the control key, click and highlight focus and vertex. Click on red. Close the preferences box. For parabola C, focus, vertex and directrix and their coordinates and equation appear red. Follow the earlier steps to construct parabola D. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use GeoGebra to study the standard equations and parts of a parabola. Construct parabolas. As an assignment, try these steps to construct parabolas with these foci and directrices. Find their equations. As an assignment, Find the coordinates of the foci and length of the lattice recti for these parabolas. Also find the equations of the axis of symmetry and directrices. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, Please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.